Hello everyone, I'm TRT Man and welcome to the channel. Alright, so I'm going to start with giving everyone a backstory on my channel in general and where I'm at now. Um, I know, you know some of you may be following me already and already know, but just for everyone who doesn't, I started uh, testosterone replacement therapy back in 2018. Um, I decided to come off of it uh, at the beginning of this year, around January 2nd or something like that. It doesn't really matter. But anyways, I've been off of it now for uh, seven and a half months. It wasn't easy when I first came off, uh, but I got through it and I felt like I was starting to stabilize uh, with my hormone levels, um, tried going to the clinic to get tested, uh, for my, my levels and they just gave me all this, it's Navy medicine, just leave it at that. And they would not let me get my testosterone checked. They said I was already off of it and that I should just, uh, stick with it for a year before I get them checked again, because I may trick myself into wanting to get back on it. And this uh, was back in, this was about four or five months after I stopped. And uh, so that was a waste. And I know you can go out like I did previously is I paid money to go to an outside provider and like did telehealth uh, appointments and uh, that worked great, but it's just very expensive. And I was just trying to cut back on what I was spending. Um, so yeah, so now I'm trying to... Uh, make it a little cheaper and go through the resources I have available. Um, I, you know, I'm going to pursue it again. I was a few months ago. I had a failure with that, but I want to see where my numbers are at because I'm starting to have low T symptoms again, uh, really bad. It was kind of like, I never really came back up from when I was on testosterone, how I felt when my numbers, my total T was like around, uh, if I get the, I don't remember what the measurement is for the rating, but it was around, Eight, 750, 800 to 900, I felt great uh, with my estrogen floating around, you know, 30 or whatever, whatever they use to measure that. Um, so, and let me just say this, I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to diagnose anyone or say that my way, you know, works. You should try it on your own. Most or all of my uh, stuff was done with the supervision of a doctor. Um, so just putting that out there. But anyways, so I... Uh, Recently have been having the really bad, like low T, like brain fog and just uh, no motivation and just, you know, uh, workouts. I've been going to the gym, doing everything to stimulate uh, my own production of testosterone, but I don't think it ever, it ever came back up. Uh, I never felt like I did when I was on it. Uh, my numbers were in healthy ranges. Uh, but anyways, um, so now I'm trying to pursue getting medical treatment again and try to just see where I'm at because it feels like I'm I'm just I'm having a hard time uh, just doing basic things in life um, and I do apologize for those of you who have been subscribed for my ch to my channel for a while and, and my frequency of videos it's I just don't really have time uh, to do them that often and I um, like right now I'm I'm about to go to the gym and I have to get away from all my kids and, and all the noise and kind of get into just a quiet space and sit in the parking lot at Publix, which is my Publix is right next to my gym. So, uh, yeah, I just squeeze it in when I can. But anyways, I'm trying to talk quick to make this video not last forever. But uh, so my I noticed th other things like my you can kind of see my beard here, like it's actually that much longer down there um, is started thinning towards the newer or the towards the end of it. And it was originally way down lower, like, um, in my, below my chest. And I trimmed it because it was getting really thin like this for like five or six inches of it. And it all started after I stopped the, uh, testosterone. Uh, it probably started, it probably took about a month and I started noticing. And then also the top of my hair, uh, has seemed like it's been coming out quicker too and thinning quicker. So I really think that's directly related to stopping testosterone. So... But, you know, I've had night sweats, um, just all types of problems. But um, just to kind of give you an idea of, of my size and my weight and everything like that, BMI. So I'm around 
I'm in the low 20% um, percentage body fat, roughly. It's not ac like super accurate. You know, I didn't spend big money to go get that tested, but um, based off of, you know, basic tools you can use to, to measure those things. And so uh, I'm not super high, but I would like to get lower, to, like to around 15 and kind of maintain from that point, 15% body fat. Um, I'm six foot four, about 258 pounds is what I weighed this morning on the scale. Um, I started off at about 265 on TRT and I got up to 300 or just shy of 350 pounds. I uh, was very strong. I had a lot of muscle mass, but I also had um, a lot of water retention, swelling, uh, bloating, you know, all that stuff. Uh, fat was building because I was eating so much too. Um, so then I got up to that and I've been slowly losing weight since I got off of gluten uh, back in the fall of 2020 when I found out I had celiac disease. Uh, so that made a big change, made my appetite go away completely. And I kind of just been naturally doing the one meal a day type of diet um, for a very long period of time. Sometimes I eat lunch, but most of the times I don't. I don't eat until six, seven o'clock at night. And then that's pretty much all I eat. I might have a couple snacks here and there, but uh, nothing crazy. And so I rapidly dropped down uh, to where I'm at now. And I, for overall, I was feeling better and uh, just felt like I was moving in the right direction. But more so recently, in the past couple of weeks, I've noticed a big dip in my motivation and energy. And, and I'm like, man, this doesn't make sense. I've been working out four or five days a week and staying active eating. When I do eat, I eat pretty clean. Um, you know, I've just, I don't know. I've been getting my, you know, I could get more sleep, but I don't go under six hours in a night. I normally have about seven or eight. So I don't feel like it's that, um, you know, so I, I've thought of vitamins, everything else, just try to take a nose. Nothing really does. It just, I don't know. It just feels like it's the testosterone. So that's where I'm at now. Uh, so here in the coming future I, or near future, I will have some more updates and I'll get lab results, kind of see where I'm at, see if my, um, my thoughts of having low T are, are correct. My, you know, so uh, we'll see. Uh, sorry, my words are all stuttery. I've been trying to, to get energy. I have to drink energy drinks, you know, that garbage uh, before I go work out. And it makes me all jittery like this. But anyways, besides the fact. Um, so thank you guys for watching the channel. And if you want to see my updates or kind of look at some of my other videos, that's cool too. But subscribe so you can see my new uh, videos come out. All right, guys, stay blessed.